Hi students, welcome to VT Chap. Students, in this video, I will explain about the gas insulated substation. What is the meaning of this gas insulated substation? The single end diagram, the functioning, construction, maintenance, and differences between the other substations. Before this GIS, we have a power systems calling as a, a generation, transmission, and distribution. So, before this GIS, we used AIS. What is the meaning of AIS? AIS means what? Air insulated substation. So, whenever a fault occur in a breaker, so in a substation, we use air as the insulation. From that, we can control the total system. But to overcome AIS, nowadays, in the latest technology, technology we are using a gas insulated substation. What is the benefits of this GIS is very very important students, right? Nowadays, each and every country using this GIS. So, what is the meaning of GIS is a gas, it is a gas. What type of gas it is? It is nothing but what a hexa SF6 that is a hexa sulfuric acid acts as a, a insulation to control the faults, to control the arcs, to control the system, to, con to protect the system. Okay students? So, in detail, we will discuss about this GIS, right? Gas insulated substation. See, first of all, if we compare uh, AS and as well as the GIS, so GIS, the place, the site is very, very low. So, it can be constructed uh, inside the apartments or inside the rooms. But whereas air insulated as outdoor, those are calling as a outdoor substations. But here, we are, we are implementing this in terms of uh, indoor also. So, that is a good advantage and the space also very, very less. But here, the initial cost is more compared to your GIS, right? Whereas, the maintenance and operation cost is very, very less in GIS compared to your AS. So, dear students, in this video, in detail, we will discuss about this one. So, first one is what are the advantages of this gas insulated Switch gear. What is the meaning of switch gear students? Switch gear is nothing but what uh, which we can switch and which we can control, which we can maintain the system, which we can protect the system. Okay now. So switch gear is nothing but the main components are here, uh, circuit breakers and as well as the relays. So these two things play a major role in each and every substation. Right. So here in this GIS, the first one is the switch gear provides high flexibility students. So these are flexible. Which, uh, whichever we can make, we can control or we can use, that is nothing but what an easy flexibility system and as well as the good reliability, right. So, the term reliability is very, very important in the system that the performance we can identify very easily, right. And as well as the, it is a gas enclosure design. I said now, SF6 is a insulating metal that we are using here, SF6. So, this kind of uh, switch gear is best solution, which solution, best solution, uh, for the different substations like uh, uh, air and other type of substations, okay. Not only this one, these are also will constructed in indoor as well as well as the underground also. So the lack of land, what I what I must know we are doing, we are using the inside or underground also we are constructing such type of substations here, right? Now by using the switch gear, the occupied area of indoor and outdoor substations are can be reduced. The space is very very you, what we are doing, we are minimizing. The configuration of this kind of switch gear can be applied to any sort of bus bars. So, you know the meaning of bus bar. What the main components in a substation is nothing but what a bus bar, relays, breakers, isolators, knife switches. Okay, now so many things are there, right? So, a bus bar is nothing but what a, which is incoming and as well as the outgoing supply, which connects at a point is nothing but what we are calling as a bus bar, right? So, we have different types of connections are there like a single, double and as well as the double bus bar connecting and double circuit ring type. So, ring type and as well as double bar are very important because ring is nothing but what it is a interconnected between two systems, interconnected system that we are calling as a ring type system, right. So, what are the advantages? See, we are discussing all the advantages here. The space is very, very less. And high security, high security. Why? Because within a short time, we can control, we can uh, overcome all the damages or all the faults uh, using this uh, GIS, right? And it is a less maintenance. It is a less maintenance and operating costs are very, very less, right? 
So GIS designs are applicable wherever these features are desirable like uh, less maintenance, less space, less impact of surroundings. Okay. Whereas AIS, AI in substitutions we use outdoor substitutions having a, a large space and maintenance also very very big big uh, equipment should be there to maintain a substation. Right. Actually what is the concept of a substation which we can control is a, is a security to control to protect the device from the abnormal conditions okay so designing of this uh, GIS are very very useful nowadays in a modern system so what are the different types of uh, systems uh, substitutions we have that is a uh, we have different types of uh, GIS what are they those are nothing but what are uh, isolated face GIS isolated okay na? so this is a, a new technique that we are implementing uh, for the one of the type of uh, gas insulated substation right each face of the bay bay is nothing but what uh, the two incoming outgoing connected at a point is nothing but we are calling as a bay is like a switch it's like a switch uh, from one point to the other point this is for uh, each face one pole of circuit breaker a single pole of electrical isolator one face of assembly right isolator also called as what a one type of switch we can uh, open and as well as the chlor with respect of the load conditions one circuit breaker we are using is it's nothing but what a single system we are calling as a, a single system that is nothing but what a isolated phase gis and number two is nothing but what a integrated integrated means what here actually we have a three phase system so here three breakers are using three base are using three isolators are using that is incoming and as well as the outdoing that system that type of gis we are calling as a integrated three phase gis integrated three phase gs means three supply system three types of three phases will be there now so first is isolated and second one is nothing but what uh, integrated so joining of these two we are calling as a hybrid GIS system okay students nowadays what happened it is a combination not individual it is a combination so hybrid is nothing but what uh, it is a integrated and isolated and as well as the integrated is both combination we are calling as a hybrid gas insulating substations it is suitable combination of isolated phase and three phase common elements here three phase common bus bars are system simplifies the connections from the bus bar right so the isolated phase sequence prevents the phase to phase fall this is a what type of fault is can overcome is nothing but what a phase to phase right now the fourth one is a compact gis compact gis is one more type of a substation that we have and uh, lastly we have a highly integrated system highly integrated system so this design was introduced in the year 2000 okay so almost 20 years back uh, this has been developed when total substance equipments are equipped together in a single enclosure housing so this single unit gas insulator substance has gained user appreciation why the space is very less the maintenance is very very less easy to control easy to maintain so this is a very important and a very a uh, sophisticated one that we are using nowadays uh, that is nothing but here highly integrated system so what the main aim of this gis is nothing but what uh, we are using one uh, a gas as the insulation and as well as the wherever we can construct uh, this gis is very very simple it may be outdoor it may be a indoor okay so what are the different types are there also we discuss now coming to the a single line diagram of a gis right dear students have you heard this word G, uh, single line diagram Single diagram is nothing but what are, what are the components are there which we are connecting one to other. That shows figure is nothing but what here single line diagram. Now GIS having a single line diagram, how it is, what are different components also very important. In the previous video I explained about the what, what is the meaning of a substation, what are the different components of a substation, what is the functioning of a substation I explained in previous video also. So here also for the GIS also I have uh, one uh, single line diagram. What a single diagram in indicates means uh, the point to point the functioning from one to other how the supply is passing from one to other what is the, how the input is there and how the outgoing is there what is the voltage ranges are there what are the different equipments are there and if anything happens how to control that one all things are nothing but what we'll draw in a single line diagram that we are calling as a gis single line diagram right if you see if you observe this one this figure this single line diagram like this is a input line how much it is 11 kV. 11 kV is your input line here. It is a, a switch. Okay, now gang or switch it is. A cable box, a undercurrent cable, 11 kV oils OCB, oil circuit breaker. And this is nothing but what here? 
it is a current transformer current transformer next coming to here this is a, a transformer 11 kb by 400 what is the meaning of 11 kb by 400 it is a step down transformer or we will call as a power transformer in each and every substation we have a transformer those are called as a power transformer so this is a symbol of a transformer where the voltage is uh, stepping down with respect of 11 kb to 400 volts now again it is uh, dividing into the different different consumer what is the main motor uh, generating the supply to send to the consumers to utilize by the consumers that is the main concept of uh, each and every generation transmission system and as well as the distribution system so this is the different uh, way or uh, different parts in a single line diagram okay so already i explained about the, what are the things of a single line diagram okay na thank you